essentially we come to LA to try and make it, we soon realise that we can't. Simultaneously we can't land our tricks, so it all kind of happens at the same time. We then find ourselves working in kind of shit jobs, and then there's more of like an epiphany where we realise like all, all the shit comes together and we can land our tricks through the help of the building team at Transworld making them better, we can like make new things happen and through that positive energy we can like succeed. If they're all coming into LA to make it big and then uh, they kind of go through the challenge of what you know the typical challenges are for being out in LA and skating and then uh, and then overcoming those challenges with uh, some of the obstacles. No one who's in this game great is from LA so it's all about us traveling from wherever we're from to LA and pretty much the spots we're skating are like I would say they're like old LA spots that no one really skates anymore and other things is just tucked away little nooks and crannies of Los Angeles that people don't usually see. Yeah. No schoolyard, no handrail, yeah. nothing. It's probably more fun doing it outside because you have to be a lot faster in the warehouse you just have way more time to I'll do that in a minute whereas outside you have to be faster because you're going to get kicked out but that's also the worst part of it because um, you get kicked out once you've normally right when you finish building something. Well it's not, I don't know, I don't know which one I prefer but it's kind of, it's definitely nice being outdoors but de last time was kind of, our one was different last time because it was so much like going on apart from the skating you know whereas this one's kind of more like because of the way we're doing it and the way it was done last time it's more like more about like being out and about and skating and getting tricks rather than like setting up loads of like fire and apparatus you know and like I would probably say it's easier inside because you kind of can there's no sketchiness about it you know but it's kind of probably more rewarding outside because you can do all the things that you've been wanting to do for a while but never really you know had the courage or had the ability to go and do you know so we do have a story board I guess but it's all in our head you know me and Mark know what we need to get in the time that we have, so every day we meet up before we head out together and ride together and we usually talk about where we are as far as the whole project and what little portion of it we need to accomplish for the day to you know, get that much closer to having the whole thing. All it's made me realize is it's a lot easier to skate Los Angeles in the nighttime than it is in the daytime. Because every time we try to skate in the day, we've probably got away with like next to nothing. But Nighttime is like most of our footage is all night. So far, we've been having really good luck, but um, starting to hit some obstacles now because you're in public space, so people start to wonder if it doesn't look as legit as it. Like, yeah, they'll see a, a commercial like rider truck, and then they're all, wait, that's not a concrete truck. Or, yeah. Having obstacles set up for you inside is so much easier. It's kind of like the In and Out Burger menu versus the Cheesecake Factory menu. Here, you've got like well, wherever you want to be. In the factory, you just kind of, in the in the warehouse rather, you just have to kind of set it up, and you can figure it out pretty quickly. It's not too hard. But yeah, outside's definitely a, almost like too blank of a canvas. It's like a canvas, piece of card, some metal. It's like a multimedia application. So, but it's worked out really well for our idea.